Hi guys, today I'm recording from the car. I've missed it actually because I used to record a lot from the car and the sound is so much better. But anyway, today I wanted to do kind of like a pep talk about saying no when you feel like you want to say no and about catching yourself in the moment of saying yes or nodding or saying yes even though you know you don't want to or you're just doing it for somebody else or you're just doing it for the person that is asking you something or you're just doing it out of kindness it needs to stop it needs to stop like you don't have to say yes out of kindness or out of other person convenience okay let's make this clear i had a bachelor weekend with my friends and we were approached by men a lot of times it is completely fine to say no if you don't feel like talking even if you don't feel like saying your name even if you don't feel like saying where you're from even if you don't feel like engaging at all it's okay to say no and first i want to say why it is so important okay before we get into the details i want to highlight why is it so important when you train yourself and you become comfortable with saying no when you when you know that this is true to you you will strengthen your boundaries right but you do not want to engage with somebody you want to protect your personal space you want to protect your energy and you say no that's also key thing in building your self-worth okay and building your self-trust because you have to trust yourself to say no when you gotta say no you cannot keep falling for those traps of people pleasing and like saying yes and then you realize you should have said no. Sometimes it's important to treat yourself as a separate being, okay? Like literally approach yourself as a separate human being. In order to build trust with yourself, you have to have your boundaries in place. You have to have certain things in place. You have to fulfill your needs, right? You have to like rely on yourself when you feel like you want to say no you say no that's it right so it's super important in your personal development journey and building yourself in building that self-love so what happened basically was that the group of men approached us and wanted to shut us up and we said no we're not interested and we're actually busy with our conversation uh, so what happened next was one guy basically offended uh, us <laughs> obviously it's like so childish and we responded with silence because there is literally nothing else to say. Actually, those guys deserved ass whooping, but not by me. They deserved ass whooping by other men who would teach them a lesson. There is like no excuse for that. You have a right to say no. Always and forever. I want you to practice saying no. Even if you're like, oh, maybe I don't mind. Practice saying no, just so it's like automatic. Not that automatic, you kind of want to say yes when you want to, <laughs> but it's it's automatic when you feel like you don't want to say yes, okay? Practice saying no, and that, no, it doesn't matter the situation, whether you feel the pressure from some guy or not, like it doesn't matter, you practice saying no. Um, and there was another situation that just blew my mind, blew my mind, and was very, it was dangerous, it was unsafe. Uh, we were standing outside the club with kind of some other people around as well and there were there was another group of guys and there was one guy that was very drunk was very messed up and he started to swear on us and he started to spit around like not really on us but like spit around and he would like call us names and he, he we wouldn't like he didn't know us like we didn't know him it was just literally super random just he was like out of it and he was just like so violent and angry and to be honest if we didn't walk away i don't know what would happen because he literally was ready to jump on any woman and beat her up it was disgusting and i don't know where the, the fuck are men who are supposed to protect women if there is a situation out in the public that women are threatened 
where the fuck are men who protect us? Like, they were not there, there were no security. Well, they were, but they were not doing anything. I felt like I, I was doing something wrong if I said no. I was labeled as cold bitch. Be a cold bitch. If, you, if, that's, if that's what it means that you say no and you stand by yourself, be the bitch. Because we've been called different names for so long when we actually are assertive and we are not that easy to control. We are when you say no, also, I want you to get rid of all the hesitating words. Maybe, I think, I guess. Just remove those words from your vocabulary. Be assertive. If someone approaches me and is so, like, convinced he can, I don't know, touch my hair, touch my ass, and he thinks I will engage in the conversation, like... No, he doesn't even deserve your kindness. And if you are threatened or abused or offended just because he thought he could do that and you put him back in his place. This is the moment when you need support. This is the moment when you need other men to protect you. And what the fuck they were. <laughs> you say no when you want to say no. No matter what, no matter what the reaction is. You still say no, okay? You don't give up. Because when you do that, you also fight for other women, okay? Let's not forget about that. We also fight for other women because once we change... We also change the way the younger generations react and protect themselves. That's yeah. it for today. Speak to you soon.